Hey guys, welcome to etchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to solve algebraic expression under subtraction. So here subtract the second expression from the first expression. So here we have two examples. Let us solve the first example. So here we have the first expression as 7L square minus 3K plus 1 and the second expression is 8L square minus 4K. Now let us write the two expressions one below the other such that the like terms appear in the same column. So writing these two expressions in an order we get 7L square minus 3K plus 1 and we get the second expression as 8L square minus 4K and here as we don't have the constant term let us write here 0 and now let us subtract this expression. So here we get the additive inverse of plus 8L square as minus 8L square and the additive inverse of minus 4K is plus 4K. So here 7L square minus 8L square is minus L square and minus 3K plus 4K is plus K and here 1 plus 0 would be plus 1. So we get the result here as minus L square plus K plus 1. Now let us solve the second example. So here we have the first expression as 2m minus 4n plus 3l and we have the second expression as m plus 5n minus l. Now let us write these two expression one below the other such that the like terms appear in the same column. So here we have the first expression as 2m minus 4n plus 3l and we have the second expression as m plus 5n minus l. So let us subtract this. So here we get the additive inverse of plus m is minus m and we have the additive inverse of plus 5n is minus 5n and we have the additive inverse of minus l is plus l. And here by simplifying we get 2m minus m is m and here minus 4n minus 5n would be minus 9n and here plus 3L and plus L would be plus 4L. So here we get the result as M minus 9N plus 4L. Now let us proceed and solve another example over here. So here we have subtract the third expression from the sum of first two expressions by vertical method. So here we have the first expression as 3X square minus 2X square Y plus 4XY. We have the second expression as minus 5x square minus 5x square y plus 4xy. And we have the third expression as 2x square plus x square y minus 8xy. Now let us name the first expression as a and the second expression as b. Similarly let us name the third expression as c. So here according to the problem we have to subtract the third expression from the sum of first two expression and this can be represented as a plus b minus c. Now let us add the first two expression that is a plus b. So here we have the first expression that is a as 3x square minus 2x square y plus 4xy. And we have the second expression that is b as minus 5x square minus 5x square y plus 4xy. Now let us add these two expressions. So here 3x square minus 5x square is minus 2x square and here minus 2x square y and minus 5x square y is minus 7x square y and here 4xy plus 4xy is 8xy. So we get the value of a plus b as minus 2x square minus 7x square y plus 8xy. Now let us subtract the third expression that is c. So we get here c as 2x square plus x square y minus 8xy. Now let us subtract this. 
So here we have the additive inverse of plus 2x square as minus 2x square and the additive inverse of plus x square y is minus x square y and the additive inverse of minus xy is plus 8xy and here minus 2x square and minus 2x square is minus 4x square and here minus 7x square y minus x square y is minus 8x square y and here 8xy plus 8xy is plus 16xy so here we get a plus b minus c as minus 4x square minus 8x square y plus 16xy so this was the basic introduction on how to solve algebraic expression under subtraction hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day